Hi everyone, I, I would like to share with you uh, the technique of how I've made this uh, thing on canvas. Of course, this is quite large and I couldn't film it, so I'm going to uh, show you today on a smaller scale uh, the technique. Not the same thing because it would be boring for me <laughs> to do the same thing again. So first I will uh, explain what I've done here and how I'm and then I will uh, start on uh, something smaller that could be done in an art journal or a cover for an art journal so this is just a canvas and I took a mask very plain one you this is it a plain mask and glued it to the canvas then I covered everything with a rice paper that I really like because it's like the best of everything. It's paper but it uh, feels like fabric and I uh, crumpled it so I will have lots and lots of wrinkles So and I covered everything with it. So all these lovely wrinkles and on the, also on the mask is from the rice paper. So, after I had, uh, I covered everything with the rice paper, I started uh, gluing down uh, little pieces of <coughs> almost everything. I've got here a fun foam, craft foam uh, stickers or uh, just uh, cutouts. Uh, this can be, f I found it in the cheap store. It's a... Uh, uh, in the kids art uh, craft supplies uh, most of the time these are supposed to be for kids for kindergartens so uh, I've as you can see I've glued all over uh, this kind of thing also I used a little bit of pieces of uh, lace uh, trim lace I will uh, take something like that and start cutting the shapes and putting them all over and I even have here a part of a lace mask and I will show you what I mean like a piece of this I just uh, cut a part of it and uh, put it here and all kinds of um, synthetic fake uh, flowers and then where I wanted more details I've just glued uh, some bling uh, here and there and if I and I've got some fake leaves here so it just uh, I kept adding a little bit of pieces and if I felt that something wasn't quite was too flat without any texture I took what you call a 3d paint or tulip or fabric paint something like that and just went over and added something like uh, to all my uh, butterflies and dragonflies I added this and I've added all these swirly um, lines with this but you can also do it with a hot glue gun Basically, you can put whatever you want to add to your texture to the whole thing. So, <clears throat> after everything was glued down, I covered it with gesso. And after that, I started playing with my acrylics. And I went from light here. I, I used a blue bouquet by Deco Art And went to... What's this blue jean in my studio and then a Old Navy by Crimson. So I went from a lighter to dark and when it was dry then came the dry brushing with gold and bronze which I will show you in, my, in the project for today. So this, that's the canvas and i really hope you can pick and see all the details uh, in uh, the camera that i'm bringing close to the camera so 
moving this aside I'm going to work today a, this is just a cardboard I had and I took all the leftovers I've got all the little bits of leftovers don't care about the color don't care about anything I just started gluing down pieces so I will have texture uh, I'm not using uh, any uh, rice paper here as I said it's the uh, it's more about the technique and not copying the same thing I've done so only uh, uh, all kinds of rectangles and using all my scrap all the little pieces that I have I've got left here and I'm going and I already glued them just white glue and started building some texture to have some texture and uh, you can use whatever you want use your imagination I'm going to glue down here I've got little pieces leftovers from a uh, I've got burlap and some kind of canvas uh, fabric so I'm just going to add to my texture and let's see you can uh, you can use so many things like the lace I've uh, used in the previous project and now I'm using a uh, silicone glue uh, it's just a uh, better for this kind of stuff silicone this one is a local brand from the cheap store if you are looking for silicone glue, uh, look for the Yuhu brand. So, where do I want it? Let's see. Putting it here. And here is another piece. Let's fray it a little bit. And... So another piece of burlap, just play around with textures and use whatever you have. If you've got lots and lots of buttons, use buttons. If you've got uh, lots and lots of yarn, use yarn. Whatever you have to make the texture in the background. It really doesn't matter. Play around. So I'm just putting down these pieces and I'm thinking yeah put it like this here is another leftover I tried uh, with this uh, burlap and fabric I tried to make a print on paper but it didn't go so well i'm still uh, going to try and do something like that but i'll still need to experiment with it so i've got this and i still want to add some texture and i've got this and this is a felt cutout i bought one maybe i'll put it here just for the added interest so as I, I said yeah, whatever you have if you've got all kinds of metal embellishments use them uh, <laughs> it just playing and adding and having fun okay so I've got this and maybe I'll add some, 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 some. I'll add some uh, flowers from a lace I've got. Here we go, some lace trim, and I'm gonna, I'm going to just cut out the flowers. And add them. Now the 
the project I've done on canvas took a lot of time it, because all the little details like this ones it takes time and as I said I kept adding so here we go So this needs to dry and before I'm gessoing it, putting gesso on top of all these things and no I still want some other stuff here and I want some leaves and I've got these fake leaves. They are going to join the whole thing. Something like that. Yep. So again, bring down the pieces. Okay, so and now is the stage for the gesso and I'll just start and then I'll go off camera because it's really boring watching me cover the whole thing with gesso and as you can see I haven't uh, added a lot of details but I really hope that all these re uh, rectangles will uh, add to the whole thing and that I will have a lot of uh, texture in the back and sometimes if you see that you have a problem coating everything with the gesso add water especially if you have very uh, delicate uh, details of the texture you don't want the gesso to clog uh, your texture so basically this is it I'm just covering everything with gesso now you can also add more texture and interest with the gesso you don't have to uh, just do it like this you can add more like so and add interest to several places if you don't want it as smooth I can go all over this area like this and it will add interest here we go all this side of all this area are, is going to be like this and I will leave this area smooth just for a little bit of contrast as you can see this is not really planned I'm just deciding as I go what to do trying to get into all the details I'm not concerned again about full coverage of the color that I have beneath I will go with acrylics on top so the gesso is a primer 
for whatever comes next it's going to give a nice base for everything else and here of course it also adding texture to the whole thing you can also use wall compound or joint compound or plaster of paris or whatever you call it <laughs> where you're at uh, wood filler also can make great texture yeah everything is covered quite nicely and I'll just add a little bit more here with this tapping and that's it now it needs to really get dry before I'm applying any kind of acrylics because I don't want them to mix with the gesso so I'll be back when it's dry I'm back so uh, now I want to add some details with uh, the glue gun. I've uh, sketched some kind of flower here and I'm going to try and make it with the glue gun and I'm really not that great with it but and here is I'm starting the stem and going over also the leaves here Also going inside for added details and te <laughs> texture. Everything I'm doing now is going to add to the details that will be picked uh, later when I'll use the color and the paint and the dry brushing. So here is a um, my flower and I still want to add details and I'm thinking I'm going to do some frame with the glue gun So, and now here, glue, hot glue gun is a really a great way to add details and elements to your background. Like now, I'm just going to play and I'm going to add here some lines and I'm going to cross them like a mesh I'll bring it closer to the camera in a minute so you can see it's kind of difficult right now Here we go and let's add a little bit more here same thing I 
I'm just playing and well this is it I think for my glue gun so I'm going to get it aside before I'm doing <laughs> some damage to myself I'm great with it always burning myself on the hot glue gun so uh, here is the detail here and here is the detail here and I'm hoping that you will see everything once I've finished and I still want to add something else so I'm thinking some some dots uh, some bling <laughs> I don't know let's see what I've got to play with here we go it really doesn't matter I uh, the only thing is that now I will uh, need to go over all these uh, details with gesso uh, again. So I've got this kind of stuff that I'm going to glue now. I'm, uh, I think it's some kind of plastic, this bling, and I'm going to use this glue again, local brand and but by the smell of it i can only say that it's like a e six thousand the glue so adding more details to the background And again, I don't care about the color. Everything is going to be gessoed. So, just adding as I go along. Let's see, another one here, yeah. What else do I have here? Do I want some butterflies? And, well, yeah, let's put some butterflies. Okay, I think, uh, no, <laughs> can't stop adding. Some here and just one more and this is it. So. Uh, I'm going to uh, cover again the what I've added with gesso I'm gonna let it dry and then we'll move on to the paint and the dry brushing and I'll be back I'm back and now we are going to paint this so I, I'm using the same colors as before and I the, I'm deciding where I want uh, the lighter color uh, here it will be where my flower is like uh, I want it more lighted this is my focal point like the mask was on the canvas so I'm starting with the lighter color and use a soft brush that can go inside all your texture and here you need to be very patient and make everything go inside all the nooks and crannies so i'm just cover starting to cover everything with the paint like so this 
so now I'm going to pick a little bit of the darker color and start moving outside and again just getting inside all the texture and if I feel it's too dark or it's too light I will just go back and add and as long as it's still wet it's easier to blend but keep in mind again this is going to get also covered with the gold and the bronze and a lot of things will be uh, covered I don't it doesn't really have to be completely blended the blending and the starting with the one uh, the um, lighter color is just uh, helping and giving the whole thing a dimensionality so it won't look flat and with the texture it just works that's the best explanation <laughs> i can give you <laughs> <laughs> of course the more texture you have the more work you will need to do in getting inside it So as you can see, I'm just moving towards uh, the edges and now I'm going to add a little bit of the darker color. And again, working to get inside all the crevices and I think the gesso here is not completely dry so it's mixing with my paint and making it lighter but all this it's just uh, okay with me for now if I need be I will wait for it to dry and then I will add I'm keeping the darker color to the edges. Another thing that will add dimensionality to the whole thing. So this is going to take quite some time and it also needs to dry before we are going do the dry brushing with gold and bronze acrylic paint so I'm going to continue this off camera it's going to take me a while and I'll come back for <laughs> the finishing touches I'll be back so I'm back. I hope this is completely dry and now is the fun part where all the details come out. So I've got a gold and I've got bronze and it needs to be heavy bodied acrylic. It won't work with the runny ones. So it, I'm taking a little bit of the gold only on the tips of my brush like so 
and I'm putting it here on the paper almost like cleaning the the brush and I will start br dry brush over all the details and it's better to uh, be very careful and add when needed and not uh, load your brush with a lot of paint and I'm starting with the gold again where my flower is and going from lighter to darker like I've done with the paint that I went from light uh, blue to the darker one now I'm starting with the gold and I'm going to uh, switch to the bronze as I get outside and all this is just of course now it's for uh, picking all the details that I have in the texture but uh, the changing between the gold and the bronze is again to add for all uh, this thing that's a uh, you have more definition and more dimensionality and that's it <laughs> that's my explanation and uh, I'm brushing uh, against my texture if I've got lines like this I will go like this most of the time and if I've got the lines here of the leaves then I will go like this so it will pick uh, the details now here I just got all the rectangles in the back so it doesn't really matter I'm going all in all directions to pick all the lovely details just a little bit more gold here and I think I'm moving on to the bronze again picking it up and I'm doing it on top of the gold so there is some kind of mixing So you see how it picks up all the details and again you can uh, put as little as you want or as much as you want depends on your taste on what you want to achieve with this effect and of course I will uh, bring it closer to the camera so you will see all the details that we worked on up close and there are no rules for this kind of thing but i just went with the bronze uh, here and here and again it looks more uh, like shadow so uh because it's darker than the gold it gives the illusion of some kind of um, like shadow to the leaves because uh, it's underneath the leaves and it really is picking a love the lovely texture uh, that we've done with the gesso so I'm really pleased with it and I hope you can see it in a minute just going want to finish putting down the bronze here and that would be it for this page So here it is, this is it, 
I hope you can see here the texture from the gesso that we tapped with the brush and that it doesn't uh, look like this area and I hope you can see how it picked all the rectangles and remember these are just scraps it doesn't matter the color that I had everything is covered and it just made a, lov a lovely texture in the background so this is it I hope it gives you some uh, ideas to play with and thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments below it really is appreciated and I'll be seeing you in my next video so bye for now